He's a two-time major winner and an absolute sporting icon of Northern Ireland. Possibly the greatest golfer in the world. That's Rory McIlroy. I'm here, though, to speak to Graham McDonald. Hey, Stephen. Hart. Not yet, Graham. Not yet. Hello, we're live here in the Florida home of golfer Graham McDowell. Graham, thank you very much for having us to your beautiful home. Yes, welcome. Me Casa Su Casa. Built this, designed it all myself, so uh, here you are. Welcome. Yeah, you know, thanks very much for, for, for having us. Uh, you know, the first question, Graham, a lot of people, you know, back home will be wondering, uh, you know, why the silly voice? What, what, why do you talk like that? Um, I, I don't actually uh, understand what you're, what you're you know, trying to say here. You know, it's just a voice, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, know that you come from Port Rush and uh, maybe the voice is, yeah, you know, slightly Americanized, if I, if I can say that. Well, you know, uh, I have lived in America now for a good part of uh, 15 odd years, you know, since I was a junior. Uh, you know, Graham, two-time major winner. Uh, oh, actually, no, that's Rory. Sorry, I, yeah. I forgot that's, that's my, my friend Rory McElroy. Yeah. That must be awkward, you know, Rory's won twice many, but one's still good. Well, you know, uh, a lot of golfers, a lot of uh, established, well-known golfers haven't actually ever won a major at all, you know, but, um, you know, I, I won 2010. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Grit. Was it a joke from Rory just there? Oh, uh, I right, don't want to just uh, get back to uh, it. Just, just. What would be the perfect day of the life of Graham McDowell? <sighs> you know, perfect day for me, probably get up, hot summer day, head out, down to my local bar and grill, Nana Blue, on the Florida Keys. If, if, uh, if, if I was coming down, could I, could I get a steak on the house? No, probably not, but... Um, what well, would I be able to, you know, get mates with it? Bit of a bit of a discount for... You know... Free soft drink? Don't know. Don't Side know. order? If, if I was buying a main meal? If you could buy a main meal? No, nah, probably. You know what a company's a great stack at my restaurant, Nana Blue? A wee chip. Yeah, great, great shot, mate. Well done. Chop, keep it up. So if, if somebody watching was uh, you know wanting to get into golf, what what advice would you give to them? Well, you know, golf's a one one in a lifetime opportunity, so I'd say yeah, uh, you know, you only get one shot. You know, when you're in a golf course, do not miss your chance to blow, because opportunity uh, comes once in a lifetime. So basically, the reason why Rory wasn't my wedding was. Uh, you know, he had too many commitments. He rang me, he said, you know, on the phone, Krem, you know, sorry I can't be at your wedding, you know, best wishes. And he sent me a present, which, you know, taking me a while to get here, but I know it's on its way, you know. Graham, you're building your own uh, course here in Florida. Tell me a bit about uh, what goes through your mind if you're on, hypothetically, a par three here, about to tee off. Okay, well, you know, obviously if you're on a par three, the last uh -huh. thing you want to be doing is uh, using a driver, you know, it's likely to be a shorter hole, so uh, what we've got here is the, uh, the old five iron, you know, should do the job, you know, get over the ball, set yourself in, you know, obviously I haven't really assessed this yet, so you take a step back, take What's your time, on? make sure you go. Not bad, eh, Griff? Not bad at all. Obviously, you know, I'm a big fan of Lou Reed, recently passed away, um, and in the sort of words, his famous song, Stephen, describe to me what your perfect day would be. Uh, strange for me, you know, being asked a question, but perfect day for myself would be, you know, get up, get on the phone, see if uh, any missed calls or texts from, from Rory. Uh, then I'll, I'll get on, you know, Twitter, see if Rory's posted anything. Get on Facebook, see if Rory's posted anything. Uh, Instagram, see if Rory's posted anything. Vine, see if Rory's posted anything. Uh, Bebo. Well, we found a wee tutorial here on my golf course, so uh, let's see what you got. Well, this is a trick shot that Rory showed me. What's up? Oh, uh, that was really the best air winker. Uh, I was just slightly off with my swing in there. Well, uh, you, know, you mentioned that Darren told me a wee story about you and your swinging. <laughs> Fuck off, Graham. G-pot. 
so uh, yeah, basically I was there, you know, drinks were flowing, none of blues, it was absolutely happening, DJ there, you know, we had Lisa Lashes on the decks, it was mad, there was myself, there was uh, Darren, Rory, all sorts, it was just absolutely off the chain, and uh, next thing you know, I'm just standing there, no trousers on me, you know, none at all, going, going, going mad, you know, uh, so next thing I know, all my money's just, uh, Boy, just going to bill $45 oh, yeah. for drinks, are you serious? Don't even know. Don't even know. Yeah, I'll see you there. So, all right, man. Good stuff. Good Just, stuff. But, right, okay. Right, just realize you've got the keys in the pocket. Got any left back. <laughs> Whacker. You know, when you come over here from Northern Ireland and your mouth is as dry as the Port Stewart Strand Beach, the golden sands of home, there's only one thing I find quenches your thirst. Cures Light, the refreshing beverage all the way from the Rocky Mountains. Ah, correct. Turn of the M A C C C C. Return of the Mac. Come on. Return of the Mac. Once again. Return of the Mac. I do. Cause you know that I.